Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. It's January 2nd, 2022. Uh, wow. So, uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> it's the new us, right? Yeah, it's the new me. No, it, it's never the new me, but that's always my joke. You know, tonight I just want to um, talk a little bit about what happened just before the new year with the wildfires in the Boulder, Colorado area that on December 30th um, burned hundreds of homes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Wait a sec. Did I just say wildfires in Colorado in December? Yeah. Yes, I did. Now, you know, I, I don't know. I have don't believe I have ever claimed that global warming is real. My position on global warming is no one knows and it's irrelevant. Everything that is said to create global warming causes so many other problems that it's just responsible to live responsibly, to reduce by reusing the two highest levels of the environmental hierarchy. Also, why take the chance with destructive storms that could be because of our emissions when these emissions are so easy to prevent? Okay, you know, there's... Half the people out there now are like, oh, this is this is all because of climate change. And, you know, others are like, no, it has nothing to climate. It's not real. You know what? No one knows if it's real or not. But I, I know and I think everyone you talk to can say the same, that things have changed dramatically since I was a kid. <laughs> you know, I, everywhere. Things have changed a lot in the seasons, and and this this could be a fluke. That this could be one of them, and this, you know, there, there's a lot of reasons why um, people said some people. Oh, it shows how wildfires, winter, and drought can coexist in the West, but. Really, they're they're not really coexisting. One is is really just was pretty devastating. I mean, right out here on the thirty first, uh, yeah, who put out the it Colorado, it hit up to a thousand homes. It's um, let me see, right here, CNN on the same day, the thirty first said five hundred, but. To the people the, whose lives were destroyed, I, I mean, this is just the, the these these scenes are just horrific. It's um, okay, we don't want to watch that. And you know, right here, Wikipedia says that um, Boulder, the the city of Boulder, is where the Rockies meet the Great Plains, and the towns that this happened in, it was suburbs of Boulder, Superior, and Louisville. And here, here is um, the Front Range. It's where, right, the mountains, the Rockies, right here, all over here, meet the plains here. And, and it goes from Cheyenne and Wyoming to so really in Colorado. It's, you know, Fort Collins, then Boulder. In Castle Rock, if you, um, Denver's right here below Boulder, and you go down to Colorado Springs, that that's really from Fort Collins down to Colorado Springs is what people really refer to when, when they talk about the Front Range. But if we um, keep just enlarging this a little bit here, here here's Louisville. And on the next one, we're going to come up with Superior, which is just next to it. So, yep, here's, you know, here's here's the Rockies. That's um, and then these two towns here, and look how dry these towns are in December. When you come down here and you look at the pictures, there's not a flake of snow. <laughs> December thirtieth. December thirtieth, not, not, not a bit of snow. That, that, 
I, I, I don't know. I, I think you'd be hard pressed to say that 30 years ago, that's how things were in even, you know, the front range. You are, as we say, you know, in the plains, but you are right near the Rocky Mountains and there's still a lot of water around here, you know, flowing on down throughout um, from from the Rockies. But you know, when when the Rockies get hit by snow, Boulder gets hit by snow, Denver gets hit by snow. So it's it's I think very unusual for December thirtieth to be looking like this. And you know, some other people will say that um this is of course due to geoengineering. Here's geoengineering watch. There's nothing on their Facebook on their um website about this right now, but um, in yesterday's weekly, weekly, um, I don't know, hour-long podcast that Dane Wigington, who started Geoengineering Watch, puts out, um, midsummer flash firestorms in Colorado, followed by snow. Yeah, snow 24 hours later that I watched some video of it, and you know, people in Colorado know how to drive in snow, but this snow, in a lot of respects, just did it. It, it looked kind of like maybe it could be related to the snow that fell in Texas, where you couldn't melt it last year. Remember those reports when Texas had its snowstorm and people were like putting flames up to the snow and it wasn't melting. I, you know, I, I, nobody did that with this Colorado snow, but just the way the cars were and they were just sliding sideways. And I, it was just, it was just very weird. You know, I, I, I lived in Colorado for 10 winters and people know how to drive in the snow out there. So it, it was, it was very it was it was very weird watching that driving, but I can't show it because you have to get licensed to use that video. But uh, I'm sure Dane has some things to say about this. He, he does have some a lot of good information out there, and there is a lot of geoengineering going on out there. And if you've ever listened to these reports here, they're oh my God, they're intense. This, this guy doesn't waste a word, and he'll send you to the dictionary and it's just just nonstop blah 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 but it's not blah 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 it's information information fact 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 relevant fact no filler just oh my god <laughs> like you have to take a break after you listen to this I, I don't know how these this man does this but it, it's intense his broadcast and I'm sure that he has something to say about it so, you know, there's there's always going to be a lot of speculation if it's, you know, geoengineering, if it's because of climate change, as, you know, it's climate change is out there. So now the Colorado, you know, wildfire season season's going to be extended and a lot of other things are going to happen. And and a lot of people, no, no. No, global warming is not real. I'm so cool, man. I don't know anything, but, you know, every, everybody I know says they listen to Alex Jones and global warming is not real and all the other people on the right that they just won't even learn anything. You know, and the thing about them is everybody on the left is all just like, oh, yeah, we got to take care of the planet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. But then you tell them the solution's them and they have no interest in it. And then the people on the right, they just have absolutely no interest in it whatsoever. <laughs> I can trash this place as much as I want. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to make a difference, you know. And then what do they do? Uh, especially the independent media, all the right wing, they all, you know, talk about taking care of your body, talk about getting the toxins out of your body. Well, you, you know what's putting all the toxins into it? All of our irresponsible manufacturing and transportation and processes that use all these chemicals and elements that put all of these pollutants into the air and water and land. I mean, <laughs> that's you take them out at the source. You don't you don't take them out with some detox medication after you ingest them. And and the other thing about the whole right wing, you know, especially independent media people, they all preach God. 
They, they truly all preach God, yet not one of them has any respect for the one livable planet that we know of. They, they just won't even... <laughs> They just won't even talk anything logical or rational or learn anything. So we don't know if global warming is real, but we definitely know that there's a lot of crazy things that are happening that never happened before. And these fires were just beyond incredibly devastating. These people, up to a thousand homes and businesses, I'm sure, just... A thousand homes, a thousand families, just everything they own is just gone. <laughs> they have nowhere to be. And it's devastating, as it says here. So I just wanted to do a little video about that. And the thing is, people, it, it truly isn't that hard to live responsibly. And we could take climate change out of the equation. If we just lived responsibly, it wouldn't be part of the, well, that's what it's cause. Well, we don't know that's what it's cause, but we could eliminate that as a variable. And in doing that, you're going to eliminate a lot of things like taking the toxins out of your body because you're not going to have to take them out because you're just not going to be putting them in <laughs> right there. That's where you solve the problem. Just like the ocean garbage patch. You don't you don't go picking up all the trash out of the ocean and then still having, you know, a disposable society of single use items. Yeah. And the single use items, you just stop putting them in the ocean. You know, carbon dioxide sequestering. I, I just saw a thing about some oil company in Norway, maybe, and um, they're going to take CO2 out of the atmosphere and pump it back down into the ground where they're pulling oil up out of. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you're tucking it away, but that's never been done before. That could have consequences, who knows? I mean, which just, you know what the solution is? Just don't put it in the air when it's so easy to not, and you can still live a uh, 21st century modern life but if we just did it responsibly. So if you haven't made a New Year's resolution, <laughs> you know, think about that. Just simple things. Don't do disposable. Simple things. Turn off unused electricity. Do I really need the lights on during the day? Go get yourself educated at the Environmental Educator Education. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's fun stuff. It, believe me. I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be like looking into boring things. So there, there's some interesting things out in the education here. And it, it we're never going to take care of this planet and show it any respect with an environmentally illiterate audience. So, um Okay, I just wanted to talk about that. I have another video to make because, oh, I got a reply from someone. So there's a cliffhanger for you. Well, yeah, okay, there's a cliffhanger. Stay tuned, people.